and the Leaning Tower of Rotherhithe, an East London landmark set to go under the hammer. You may have wondered what it was, this funny little house standing completely by itself on the banks of the River Thames at Rotherhithe, Well, we have a rare opportunity to show you around inside. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed this curious building on a stretch of the River Thames in South East London. It's become known as the Leaning Tower of Rotherhithe. It's been in the same ownership for nearly 30 years, housed a barge company before that, and this home will go under the hammer on the 1st of March. Our reporter Wendy Hurrell was given a rare glimpse around. This is BBC London does Homes Under the Hammer, so we must start with shots of the local area. Here is Rotherhithe. Next, footage of the house up for auction. From the communal beach, it's a mysterious detached dwelling, the last survivor of a row bombed in the Blitz or demolished for the modern. So let's take a look inside, number one. Presenter goes in, cut to the other side. Well, it's just as narrow and just as wonky on the inside. Once part of London's thriving dock, this building belonged to Braithwaite and Dean Barge Company. Its workers would float up to this office and collect their wages. It's on four levels, this house, connected by narrow stairways, exposed bricks along. Your owner's going to be kept fit, that's for sure. Seated on the elevated sofa, you are literally surrounded by the River Thames, everything happening on it, and the city skyline. About time for those awkward shots of estate agent inspecting property. One of the more unusual properties that come, come to us, I mean, I've many times walked past this and wondered what it is, to be honest. The sellers uh, bought this 28 years ago. It wasn't residential use then. They bought it as an office. They're the only people that have ever owned it. There's been a couple of tenants living there since, but this is the first time on the open market in 28 years and is a completely rare opportunity for someone. I do expect there'll be international um, interest, as we've had with similar things we've sold that are completely unique. This spiral staircase was once the main way of getting up to the first floor. There's another one now. But look at this. This is a music studio and kitchen. There's even a shower back there, just to add another level of quirkiness. And there's historic intrigue. Lord Snowden had a studio literally just a few yards behind where you're now standing and this is where he purportedly entertained Princess Margaret. This was their love, little love nest on the Thames. Who will be brave enough to take it on and hopefully preserve its distinctive local history? Wendy Hurrell, BBC London. Well, you'd certainly get your steps up living there, wouldn't you?